be careful who you listen to. I don't care whether that's on YouTube, in your family, in the cool kid. Be careful. Um, and that's including me. Make sure your discernment is on point with everything. Your everyday life, not even just spiritual stuff. Everyday stuff, especially when you're feeding your soul and the different type of energy you tapping into and different people that you're interacting with on a daily basis. <laughs> I ran across something and it, it was so crazy to me. This person was talking about um, Psalms and how Psalms is uh, like wicked and uh, of the devil. But they say they use it but they only use certain ones. So I was like, what? why are you over in there? Why are you even using that word for protection anyway? Why? If all of it, if, if Psalms is so bad, then all of it bad. You can't cherry pick what you want and what you want to use and what you can't use. And anybody that's out there using songs and saying that they brought in some other spirits or something happened while they was interacting with something, then you're doing something wrong. You're touching over in something that you ain't got no business touching on. Because songs, as long as I have been working with it and all that, my family... And my teachers have taught me, come on. So if you're doing that, you, it's, you're going over in something you ain't got no business going over in. You have to be careful. That dark side don't play. Okay? And then another thing is, like, I burn seven-day candles. And in different churches, they burn candles, don't they? What, what's the difference? If I'm just burning a plain white candle in my home to bring peace and serenity. What y'all check out that video too on color candles? Like purple and white. Two color, two important colors that a light worker should always never be without. Should always burn purple and white. Check out that video right there. But um, yeah, so what's the difference? Y'all burning candles in church. What y'all doing it? Y'all doing rituals in church? Y'all doing the foot washing in church? What, what's that about? So that's why I'm like, y'all really have to pay attention. And what's the difference in your spiritual leaders, your preacher, your pastor? Or whoever, because they got so many titles now. I don't know. They, I believe they're appointing this stuff to themselves. I don't know. Um, but what's the difference in them? You go to them with a problem and they, they tell you, oh, when you get home, read read something from Matthew or something, just anything from the Bible. And that what's the difference? When they run in the prayer line <laughs> and um they got that the olive oil with the frankincense in it. Or they just use an olive oil period. What you need the frankincense for? Why are you putting the oil in it? What what you annoying me with that for? So y'all pay attention. Y'all be vigilant. Know the word for yourself. Don't don't look at these leaders that are in higher positions and you thinking that and you look at them like as if they know everything. No, no man is higher than God. No man's word is bigger than what God. They are just vessels that God is using. Some of them, some of them now. So again, that's why I made that video on discernment because I really want y'all to tap in. If you haven't already checked out that video on discernment, uh, make sure that you look at look in the description box of that video for different resources if you want to go deeper into it i just touched the surface of it okay so um yeah just be careful who you listening to and tap more tap more into your spirit man which what is your spirit man saying and telling you about different things so that's why um i love what i do i'm faithful in what i do y'all not nobody not gonna make me feel bad about <laughs> My, uh, doing candles, burning sage, and working with different stuff. 
You know what I'm saying? Because there's some people that's going to church every Sunday and listening to the devil. I'm not saying that's everybody, but in some cases it is. And they're not even aware of it. They're not even aware of it. So, yeah, um, y'all just stay prayed up out here in these spiritual streets. Because it ain't playing. It's like it's, like it's the wild, wild west in the spirit realm now. Because everybody running rampant doing what they want to do. We getting information faster than we ever have before. Everything is so easily accessible to us. You can get everything you need at the touch of a fingertip. Everything. So just be vigilant out here. Train your discernment. Pray, you know. And just keep watching this channel and make sure you subscribe so I can keep you up. <laughs> Oh, so why you out here in the wild, wild west? Dang, you got some type of protection. You got some kind of knowledge on how to maneuver through this craziness, okay? So y'all stay blessed and highly